this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. In my short series on Office 365, last week I covered Microsoft Excel, and the week before that I covered Microsoft Word, both on the iPad. Well, this week it's the turn of Microsoft PowerPoint. I've already downloaded and installed PowerPoint, and if I just go into the application, we'll see the now familiar screen, the familiar gallery screen, to allow us to create a brand new presentation or to use any of the templates that are provided with PowerPoint on the iPad. Now from the template, and of course I can go to recent documents if I want, or I can go to an open dialog box to get to my iPad or to my presentation stored on the OneDrive service. But if I go back to new, uh, you've got the option of selecting either widescreen or in the top corner we have standard 4x3. I'll stick with widescreen for now. In fact, because we're doing this on an iPad, let's go with 4x3. Okay, so that's the aspect ratio. Now you can create brand new presentations on the iPad. So I'll go ahead and start off with, say, this retrospect template and that takes us through to the main screen within PowerPoint. Now as with all the other iPad applications, a fairly standard layout, we have the coloured bar across the top which contains various icons and tabs, uh, we have the ribbon bar across below that coloured area, we have a sidebar which in this case shows us the thumbnail view. Uh, I can also get to a notes section as well, if I tap at the bottom I can actually double tap in here to add notes to my slides. But let's go with the coloured area across the top first, we have the same four icons as in the other applications, so an icon to take us back to the file dialog box, an icon to allow us to get to the file properties and do some other actions as well. And then we have an undo and a redo button next to that as well. And then across the middle we have the various ribbon tabs. So the first one being home and again these are all sort of functionally grouped together and the, the home tab really gives us the most important ones when we're looking to format objects on the screen. So if I go ahead and uh, you'll see that these are all greyed out at the moment. If I go ahead and double tap to edit the title and then just add some text in a new presentation, we'll move that out of the way. I've got the standard handles, so I can drag to resize the object. I've got the control at the top. Oops, let me tap that again. Grab hold of that and I can twirl it around. I want to rotate it. I can tap away. Oh, while it's selected, I can now access the uh, font controls, the bold, italic and underline controls to format the selected text. I've got underline, I've got uh, bulleted lists and I've got the standard alignment controls as well. Okay, so that's sort of formatting the basic uh, text on a slide. I can double tap at the bottom to add subtitle, but we'll leave that for now. Um, next, across, we could add a new slide from this screen, but if I go to the insert function... To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 